Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. We've got a system that's moving into this region. It's this area low pressure that was to our west yesterday, and that's going to be the big weather maker for us over the next 24 hours. Right now, it is moving close to the shore. It's near Wilmington. It's going to move offshore today, and behind it, those winds will really pick up out of the northeast and then out of the north. And you can see there's a uh, wintry weather back to our west. We're going to stay rainy for today, and then by this evening, that wintry mix will try and move into Hampton Roads. It's trying to get closer. It's uh, trying to sneak into I-95 right now, but as it moves east, remember it's going to hit some warmer air. It'll change back to rain as it goes towards Emporia. For us, it's all rain from Hatteras up through Mainland Dare County up to Currituck, and this runs right through Elizabeth City, most of northeast North Carolina, Ahoski, Windsor. Uh, you've got it also into Moyoc, and that stretches up into southern. Virginia Beach, Southern Chesapeake on the uh, southeast corner, so the northwest area and south of Blackwater, but that's about it. We're quiet in Northern Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Newport News, Hampton, just a sprinkle, Gloucester, a little bit more though of, in the way of rain. This just picked up. This is around Machapungo now. Uh, it's all but just about to Machapungo, and then uh, Nassawatox, you've got some of those showers. That's lifting north towards Melfa. Now the rain increases between now and noon and becomes widespread. We got a lot of rain. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s. I'm thinking we're going to make it to the mid to upper 40s for the afternoon, but not too much warmer than the model shows. You can tell, though, lots of rain in the region. The uh, snow will be back towards I-95, and I think it will be a little bit more east than the model shows, but not much. Basically stays off to our west during the day. Here's 6 o'clock. Evening commute's going to be wet. It's going to be a soaker, but the wintry weather stays west. Maybe a couple sleep pellets mixing in, though. I will say that during the evening commute. Now, overnight, the model has backed off the wintry weather quite a bit. I got a feeling, though, it's going to be a little colder. I got a feeling we're going to see that wintry mix moving to Hampton Roads. Along the coast, it's going to take longer. I think it's mostly going to be rain, but in the locations, it may uh, be for about an hour, a couple of hours for that wintry weather, and then it's going to dry out after midnight. Tomorrow, we got cold conditions in the morning. It'll be a little windy, too, but then in the afternoon, temperatures warming up to near 50 degrees. We'll have partly cloudy skies, drier weather for Tuesday, but still breezy. This computer model future track keeps the snow far inland from Wakefield on west. Uh, some other models follow the same suit. Here's the GFS model. It keeps most of that snow off to our west. Uh, but again, I think that's going to be a bit more of a mix for a while in this pink area. So uh, that's what I'm expecting. Mostly rain from Cape Charles over to Hampton. Most of Hampton Roads in northeast North Carolina is mostly rain. But that wintry mix could happen around Melfa, Gloucester, Williamsburg, maybe into Isle of Wight, western Suffolk, down to Ahoski. And you may get a little bit trying to stick on some grassy surfaces, maybe a dusting to a half inch. But over an inch possible around Petersburg, Richmond. If you're doing some travel, that's where the snow, I think, is going to stick in a little bit more so. So, to summarize, today, cold rain showers during the daytime, no snow. A wintry mix this evening could briefly become uh, snow for a time. I got a feeling it'd be a very short window, though. So, again, the dusting a half inch on some grassy surfaces inland and off to the west, not so much near the coast. On top of that, we also could see some tidal flooding, nuisance to minor tidal flooding. The forecast has come down a little bit, but today at 6.40 p.m., Sewell's Point, 4.1 feet, that's nuisance. There's the cutoff for minor. Uh, might get a little closer to that going into Tuesday, and then it drops Tuesday evening. It doesn't look as bad as the last system. The winds don't look as bad, and the uh, tidal flooding doesn't look as bad, but still some nuisance to minor tidal flooding. We did have some dunes wash away in the last system, so some beach erosion could pose for some problems along the coast, and ocean overwash could be another problem along the Outer Banks. So we're going to be watching all this through the day. We have a news 10 at midday and 4 p.m. Temps are in the low 40s right now. Highs in the 40s today. They'll be stuck in place. You got those winds out of the northeast, 10 to 20, gust to 35 with on and off rain showers. Wintry mix by this evening. Dry tomorrow. Highs near 50 and breezy. And then we'll try and warm things up later in the week. We'll definitely warm things up by Sunday.